Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll show you how to successfully disassemble and reassemble the appliance one step at a time. Many GE dryer repairs will require some disassembly of the product. These are the tools you'll need to fully disassemble and reassemble the GE dryer. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the power to the appliance. To access components such as the selector switches and jumper wires within the backsplash, unthread the five screws on the panel. Any missing screws can be ordered through the links in the description below. Pull out and lift the panel from the backsplash. Detach the ground wire. Unthread the two screws that secure the backsplash. Pull the backsplash back and lift up to free it from the dryer. To reach internal parts including the heating element, thermostats, motor, idler arm, and drum assembly, you will have to remove the top and front panels. To do this, note the orientation of the wires. Detach the purple, brown, and red wires from the start switch. Now detach the red wire from the signal switch. Detach the purple, yellow, and red wires from the timer. Detach the blue, yellow, brown, and bottom orange wires from the temperature switch. Detach the brown and white wires from the resistor. Unthread the two screws securing both of the top panel plates. Detach the solid brown wire from the purple wire. Feed the wires through the panel. Unthread the two screws on the top of the panel. Then unthread the two screws under the lip of the door threshold. Lift the top panel from the appliance. Unthread the two screws that secure the front panel. While supporting the front, unplug the two wire harnesses. Lift the panel off the three tabs and move it to a flat surface. Depress the pulley to release the tension on the belt and unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. Use the belt to lift out the drum assembly. Should the motor need replacing, 
The blower wheel will need to be accessible. Unthread the screw that secures the side panel to the blower housing. Then unthread the screw that holds the assembly to the base. Release the wires from the clip and pull them through the cover. Unthread the six screws that hold the blower housing cover. Unthread the two black pan head screws. Unthread the silver pan head screw. Unthread the four screws securing the motor plate. Slide the idler arm from underneath the retaining bracket. Lift the arm and slide the other end from the blower housing. Slide the assembly back and remove the blower cover. While using the 7 16 wrench to hold the motor shaft, use the socket and ratchet to loosen and remove the blower wheel. Once the necessary repairs have been made, the appliance can now be reassembled. Thread and tighten the blower wheel onto the motor shaft. Slide the cover into position over the mounting pegs. Slide the blower assembly into position. Insert the end of the arm in the blower housing, then place the arm underneath the retaining bracket. Make sure the idler arm is able to operate the switch. Rethread the four screws to secure the motor plate. Rethread the silver pan head screw. Rethread the two black pan head screws. Rethread the six screws. Pull the wires through the cover and clip them. Rethread the screw that secures the side panel to the blower housing. Then rethread the screw that holds the assembly to the base.
Place the drum inside the dryer and line up the drum shaft and bearing with the bearing retainer on the rear panel. Make sure the belt is rib side down along the outside of the drum. Loop the belt around the tension pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Rotate the drum to help align the belt. Set the front panel on the three tabs. Then plug in the two wire harnesses. Push the panel forward. Then secure it with the two screws. Hook the back of the top panel and adjust until it's aligned. Set the panel on the appliance and feed the wires through. Rethread the two screws under the door threshold. As well as the two screws on the top of the panel. Reattach the solid brown wire to the purple wire. Slide the top plates into position and secure with the two screws. Reattach the white and brown wires. Reattach the blue, yellow, brown, and bottom orange wires into the temperature switch. Reattach the purple, yellow, and red wires into the timer. Reattach the red wire into the signal switch. Reattach the purple, brown, and red wires to the start switch. Set the backsplash back into the dryer slots and push forward to lock in place. Rethread the two screws. Reattach the ground wire to the panel.
Insert the panel tabs into the slots on the dryer. Rethread the five screws. Plug in the dryer. And your dryer should be ready for use.